Hello, Rosuzu Gaming here, and welcome back to another War Thunder episode. And also, welcome back to another event. In this one, it will be A10 versus German World War II SPAAs. So, first section of this event will contain three mini games. So, every time A10 loses, the A10 amount will double. In this mini games, one round lasts only 10 minutes. A10's objective is destroy all SPAAs in 10 minutes. Before we start, don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy! So here we go, first round started. Currently there's only one A10. A10 goes for the dive. Fires its missiles, loses a wing. Insane amount of tracers coming towards A10 and that's a crash. A quick victory for the Axis team. Alright, and now here comes the second round. A10 amount doubled. Now it's two versus many. Here we go, double A10 spawns on top of the SPAAs. Uh, some flares going out. Looks like they're trying to put some distance. By the way, A10s have full loadout. A10s trying to evade the tracers. It's really hard. Some rockets flying from the A10. We have double destruction, two anti-airs destroyed and one of the A-10s getting critically damaged uh, being disabled off the battle and second A-10 also getting wrecked, absolutely shredded, smokes coming out, flares, it looks like lost the control and that is another victory for Axis team. In the third round, now A is facing Quad A10. SPAs are spreading to not take any damage. One of the AAs getting destroyed. Looks like this dive and runaway tactics are actually working. Currently there is three A-10s left. Axis team lost two of their SPAAs. Some bird action going on. Some rockets as well. Now there's three dead Axis players. Every dive is extremely dangerous. So a tense needs to be really careful here. Oh! There is some precise bullet, But... Oh! That A-10 actually survived quite a low passage and it's got destroyed. Just when we thought it survived, one of the SPAs manages to rip his wing off. And that's AGM looks like getting the kill. Now there's only two A10s left against 11 of them. Okay, this A10 is diving. Here we go. Some maneuvers. Brrrts. And getting destroyed. Oh, it crashes. And the last A10 catches on fire. What a match. But let's not forget that the match was 10 minutes, guys. So A10 had to attack aggressively. Oh, God. And that's another victory for anti-air team. A10 team manages to get 11 kills.
Only five IAs survived. All right, and that concludes the first phase. In all of the mini rounds, eight tens have lost. So now there is only two phases left. Both of them are just regular rounds. So in this round, there will be six eight tens in total. This time, no loadout, only Gatling gun. Let's see, can 15 AAs win against six eight tens? This time, battle will be longer. Anti airs will be on offensive side. They need to cap single objective to win the match. SPA is dragging attention by shooting at each other. Spotting the tracers from far distance is really easy. A quite a big mistake. Looks like most of them go into the town to use the buildings as cover. And meanwhile, a tents are getting closer. Here's the circle that Antares needs to capture. If they're not gonna capture in time or die, a ten team will go into win. So here we go. First bird takes one of the AAs. Axis team losing three of their players. Most of them are reached the town. Some of them are at the open. Another bird. Another kill. Looks like anti-air team having a really bad time because Still, all of the a tens are up. Axis team suffering heavy casualties. And that's a bird. Oh, that was satisfying to hear. One of the a tens doing a fly low pass. And that's a focused bird into the corner. Poor Verbal went try to hide but failed. Of course, what SPAs don't realize, firing drags attention. So every time they fire, they're giving their position away and also position of their teammates around them. This verbal wind wants to die and the other one as well. Oh, that's a bird. Verbal wind eats the dust. Okay, and now we're gonna spectate the last anti air player. He's not firing, he knows that if he's gonna fire, suddenly 6 A tens will dive on him. A tense kind of spooking him out. Oh, he's making a big mistake. He thought he can clip that A10 without being noticed, but unfortunately, that was his mistake. And that's a bird. All right, and now here's the last round. Same rule as the previous one, but this time it's full the map which is one of the most annoying maps in the game because how big it is, AA is gonna have to travel a long distance to cap the objective. So after realizing the mistake from the last round, anti-airs will not gonna fire. Most of the team spawned at the right side, so it's four versus 17. Oh, what a lucky verbal win. I survived a really long burst. Anti-airs having a really hard time. They're getting hunted like rats on the field. Oh! This A-10 just got clipped. Oh, I think it got clipped one more time. It's critically damaged. And looks like he's losing the control, having a hard time controlling his plane. Barely turning. 
And that's a crash. Dives into the tree line. The first casualty, a quite unnecessary one. He just got randomly clipped. There is a second. A direct nose dive. Fortunately, Antier was aware of it and he took it and swing off. That's a second casualty, looks like. Doesn't. Oh, that's another clip to the right wing. It was already critically damaged. Uh, looks like it's slowly losing the control like previous one. Yeah, doesn't seem like he's gonna make it back to airfield. And that's a dive into the tree line, into the hill. Right now it's two versus nine, the battle continues. Anti-air team slowly getting closer to the objective. The capture of the objective has begun. If this point gonna get capped, anti-air team will going to win. This verbal wind is at the open. It's just got caught by one of the A-10s. Looks like he was guarding the points. Found the verbal wind, but we have a sneaky anti-air right in this bush. So right now what anti-air team needs to do, this guy will die eventually because A-10s will randomly spray the bush line. Others are seem like they're camping. Which is not good. Planes are still vulturing around. While Cap is halfway there. Looks like one of the A-10s decided to spray the bush line. Let's see if it's gonna get the anti-air there. Bird starts to happen. Random spray. And that randomly gets the anti-air. Unfortunately, no one is around to take the Cap back. The cap was at 65%. Now, team is losing it. Let's see if this verbal wind can continue to cap. Unfortunately, he dies as well. How ridiculous it is. So close, now all of the cap points are melting away. Let's see what other is doing. Uh, not sure where this guy is. So here are the last two players, they're far away. One of them is at the D6 and the other is D5, he just died. So this is the last player. He's not even close to the objective, so not sure what he was doing. A ridiculous amount of flank and unnecessary. I mean, at this point, it is obvious that Axis team lost, but it could have been avoided if nobody spawned at the right side. Because right side, terrain-wise, is worse. There is lots of hills. It takes a real long time to drive there. And he just got spotted. Quite unfortunate. A close victory from the A10 team. Nicely done. And that concludes the event. First phase, victory from the Axis team. Second and third phase, victory from A10 team. If you want to participate in future events, you can join to our Discord. And of course, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks to all participants. I'll see you in the next one.